prophets were numerous. The first of them was Adam. On Judgment Day, the people will be moved towards the bridge. Asirat. One end of that bridge is on the reformed earth. And the other end of that bridge will be at a land before getting to paradise. And so that bridge goes up from the earth up towards into the direction of paradise. This bridge is one of the scariest, most dangerous stages of Judgment Day. And that bridge is wide and slippery. And beneath it is hell. Every prophet whose nation tries to cross, that prophet will be making dua. And some of those Muslims will be crossing that bridge, crawling across it. And some of them will be walking across it. And some of them will be running across it, although it's slippery. And this bridge has hooks on its sides. Those hooks, they gash those who are passing. And they snag them. And some people will be pulled off of the bridge and they will fall into hell. And some people, they will be pulled off the bridge and they will fall towards hell. And then... That hook will come and grab them and pull them back up and put them back on the bridge so that they can continue their attempt. And some of them won't even be stepping on it. They will fly over that bridge in the air as fast as a bolt of lightning, as fast as the blink of an eye. وَأُزْلِفَتِ الْجَنَّةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ غَيْرَ بَعِيدٍ they see paradise getting closer and closer. And it itself is very vast, very wide. Thousands of times wider than hell. And it has eight gates. And it has a ceiling, which is the Arsh, the largest of creations. Whoever makes it across the bridge, he will be safe. Then, the people will go to the basin, al Haud, which some people translate al Haud as the lake. And the Haud of our Prophet is the biggest. It is a body of water that is whiter than snow, whiter than milk and sweeter than honey, sweeter than sugar, sweeter than sugar, and more fragrant than musk. The source of this water is the river of al kawthar that flows throughout paradise and then comes out from a pipe outside of paradise and then empties into the basin. Prophet Muhammad's basin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a month wide and a month across. So it's like a sea because that's very big. And it has cups around it that are as numerous as the stars of the sky because of how many followers Prophet Muhammad has. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. And when the believers drink from the basin, they will no longer experience any thirst, and then they will enter paradise. Enter paradise in safety. That is the day of everlastingness. Therein they have whatever they wish. 
and Allah still has more. The first one to enter paradise is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam. He will take the ring that's on the door of paradise, he will take hold of it, and he will knock on the door of paradise with it. Then the angel will open the door and say, You are the one for whom I was ordered to open the door, and no one shall enter it before you. And the believers, they come to paradise. Those who feared their Lord will be driven towards the garden in groups. Until they arrive and its doors will be already open. And the keepers of paradise who are the angels, they say to the believers who are entering, Peace be upon you. Clibitum, you have done well. Congratulations. Enter paradise forever. Enter paradise for what you used to do. And the believers are entering paradise in batches, in waves. Huge numbers of believers entering through the gates of paradise. Each entrance of paradise is a month wide. And the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the first nation to enter paradise. The first batch of Prophet Muhammad's followers will be 70,000 Muslims who enter paradise with no judgment, no questioning, no punishment, no torture. And their faces will be illuminated. And with every thousand of those 70,000, there's another 70,000. Each thousand of them bring along with them 70,000, entering paradise with no judgment and with no torture. And most of the people of paradise are the poor people. And they will enter paradise 500 years before others. Because the more you have, the more you will be questioned. There are the forerunners, the forerunners, those who were the forerunners in doing the good deeds and the forerunners in entering paradise. They are the especially elite ones. Basking in gardens of bliss. Who are they? They are a group from the beginning of this nation. This nation of Muhammad. And fewer from the later generations. From the nation of Muhammad. And the people of the right, what a status have the people of the right, the people who got their books in their right hands. Basking in smooth, thornless. Sidr trees. And banana trees so loaded that their trunks are not even visible. And they will be in extended shade. 
wa ma'in maskub and water flowing over the surface without banks wa fakihatin kathira and abundant fruits la maqtu'atin wa la mamlu'a those fruits never go out of season and they are always in reach wa furushin marfu'a and elevated mattresses li ashabil yamin for the people of the right they are a group from the beginning of this nation and a group from the end of this nation so that's a second level not the level of the first ones السابقون. and if his good deeds and his bad deeds are equal then he will have to stand on the wall and they will have to wait while others enter paradise it is said that it is the wall of paradise itself and it is said that it's a wall that will be put on judgment day this wall is called al araf wa bainahuma hijab and between the two parties the party of the believers and the party of the disbelievers there shall be a barrier wa ala al araf rijal ya'rifuna kullam bi simahum and on the wall al araf there are men who know the believers from the disbelievers by their sign the believers their sign is the brilliance of their faces the illumination of their faces and the kuffar their sign is the darkness of their faces and the darkness of their eyes wa nadaw ashab al jannati an salamun alaykum and they call to the people of paradise those who are on the wall salamun alaykum lam yadkhuluha wa hum yatma'un they will have not entered paradise yet and they will be hoping wa idha surifat absaruhum tilqa'a ashabin nar and when their eyes are turned towards the inmates of the fire qalu rabbana la taj'alna ma'al qawmi adh-dhalimin they will say oh our lord place us not with the unjust people do not put us with the unjust people wanada ashabul araf rijalan ya'rifunahum bi simahum and the people of the wall they call out to men whom they recognize by their sign qalu ma aghna ankum jam'ukum wa ma kuntum tastakbirun they will say to those that they recognize from their sign and those are the kuffar of no avail to you was your accumulation of money nor was your being arrogant aha ula illadhina aqsamtum alla yanaluhum Allah bi rahmah are those ones who have entered into paradise those whom you swore back in the dunya that Allah will not bestow his mercy upon them those are the ones the ones who are in paradise and you are in hell then it will be said to those people on the wall udkhulu al jannata la khawf alaykum wa la antum tahzanun 
enter paradise without any fear and without any sadness. وَإِذَا رَأَيْتَ ثَمَّ رَأَيْتَ نَعِيمًا وَمُلْكًا كَبِيرًا And if you were to see that place, you would see bliss and a magnificent realm. So Al-Jannah, we're calling Al-Jannah paradise. Al-Jannah literally though means the garden. And it's called Al-Jannah because it is full of gardens. وَلِمَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ جَنَّتَانِ For whoever feared being judged by his Lord, so he behaved himself, he did his obligations, and he avoided the haram in this worldly life, there are two special gardens in paradise. In paradise there's a garden, everything in it is golden. And there is a garden in paradise, everything in it is silver. Those gardens have many branches in them. And those branches are leafy and they have lots of fruits. Within those gardens there are two flowing springs. وَمِن دُونِهِمَا جَنَّتَانِ And besides those two special gardens, there are two other gardens. مُدَهَامَّتَانِ The greenery is so intense, it's as if it was black. فِيهِمَا عَيْنَانِ نَضَّاخَتَانِ in them, there are two erupting springs, but there's a special place therein. The interior, it's in the center of the garden, and it's the highest part, the apex of the garden. It's called Firdaus, Paradise. And right over it, directly over it, is the Arsh of Ar-Rahman. That Arsh, the ceiling of paradise, it has chandeliers. And the rivers of paradise, it is said that they spring from Firdaus and then they flow throughout paradise. فِيهَا أَنْهَارٌ مِّن غَيْرِ آثِمٍ that garden has rivers of fresh, delicious water that never goes stale. And rivers of milk whose flavor does not change. And rivers of wine that are delicious to those who drink it, and it does not make them drunk, and it does not give them headaches. And rivers of pure honey. And the milk is not from cows, and the honey is not from bees. And those are not the only rivers of paradise. And paradise has pebbles, and all of those are precious stones. You would see it as a great kingdom, very wide, very vast, full of brilliant, shining light and fragrant musk and firm high castles and continually flowing rivers and lots of ripe fruits and beautiful lovely wives and lots of endowments in an everlasting abode and happiness and luxury. And there are animals in paradise, winged horses, their bodies are like ruby, and their wings are golden, and they are alive. 
and other things, things that we know and things we don't know in paradise. And when the trees of paradise sway in the breeze, they make a beautiful sound, a sound that's more lovely than music. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Inna fil jannati la shajaratan yasiru al-raqibu fi dhilliha mi'ata amin la yaqta'uha. Surely in paradise, there certainly is a tree, a very large tree. A rider will ride in its shade for 100 years and still not get out of that shade. The clothing of the people of paradise grow from this tree. It's called Tuba. The angels say to the people of paradise as they enter, Inna lakum an tasihu. Surely you have been granted health. Fala tasqamu abada. So you shall never fall ill. Wa inna lakum an tahyau. And you have been granted immortal life. Fala tamutu abada. And so you shall never die. Wa inna lakum an tashibu. فَلَا تَهْرَمُوا أَبَدًا And you have been granted youth, and you shall never age. وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ أَن تَنْعَمُوا فَلَا تَبْأَسُوا أَبَدًا And you have been granted luxury, and you shall never be miserable. إِنَّ هَذَا كَانَ لَكُمْ جَزَاءً وَكَانَ سَعْيُكُمْ مَشْكُورًا Surely this is a reward for you. Your endeavor of worshipping on earth is accepted and recognized. فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةِ الرَّاضِيَةِ And then he will be in acceptable living. مُتَّكِئِينَ عَلَىٰ رَفْرَفٍ خُضْرٍ وَعَبْقَرِيٍ حِسَانٍ Lounging on green cushions. And there are pillows there that are lined up and carpets that are spread all around. مُتَّكِئِينَ عَلَىٰ فُرُشٍ بَطَائِنُهَا مِنْ إِسْتَبْرَقٍ they are lounging on mattresses that are filled with istabrak. It's a type of silk. So those mattresses are so soft and comfortable and luxurious. Fi jannatin In a garden. High in place and high in prestige. عَلِيَهُمْ ثِيَابُ سُنْدُسٍ خُضْرُ وَإِسْتَبْرَقُ And upon them shall be fine green silk garments called sundus. وَحُلُّ أَسَاوِرَ مِنْ فِضَّهِ And they will have thick silk and they will be adorned in bracelets of silver وَسَقَاهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ شَرَابًا طَهُورًا And their Lord shall give them a pure drink. وَيُسْقَوْنَ فِيهَا كَأْسًا كَانَ مِزَاجُهَا زَنْجَبِيلًا A cup mixed with ginger. عَيْنًا فِيهَا تُسَمَّى سَلْسَبِيلًا from a spring that is there, a special spring called Salsabil. In paradise, there are some sort of furniture that is very, very high in the air. If the believer wants to sit on it, it just comes down for him. It bends down for him like a camel bends down. Then he will sit upon it like royalty who sits upon a throne. And then it will raise him high, up, up. And then he will be able to look down and see paradise.
لا يرون فيها شمسا ولا زمهريرا They don't see in there any sun and they don't experience any bitter cold and there's no moon but paradise is always lit there is night and there is day and paradise has a sign for the daytime and a sign for the nighttime the people of paradise will all be 33 years old even if someone in this world died as a baby and they will all be given new bodies though the souls that we have now are the souls that we will have then لا يمسهم فيها نصب وما هم منها بمخرجين. They never get exhausted in paradise, and they are not put out. Bodies that are similar to the stature of Adam, عليه الصلاة والسلام, ninety feet tall, ten feet across. The person in paradise with the least would be as beautiful as Yusuf. And they will not have hair on their bodies except the hair of their heads and their eyebrows and their eyelashes. So that none of their beauty will be concealed. They don't have anything dripping from their noses. They don't urinate and they don't defecate. They sweat, and their sweat is like musk. And the people in paradise, they will be there with their families. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ بِإِيمَانٍ أَلْحَقُنَا بِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ And those who believed, and their children followed them in faith, then Allah will give their children a status similar to the status of the parents. وَمَا أَلَتْنَاهُمْ مِنْ عَمَلِهِمْ مِنْ And Allah will not deprive the parents of any of their own rewards in any way. كُلُّ امْرِئٍ بِمَا كَثَبَ رَهِينٍ Every individual is responsible for his own deeds. And among the endowments are good, nice, mannerly, pretty wives. In paradise, they have nice manners. So if your wife gives you some lip here in the dunya, inshallah, she won't give you any lip in the afterlife in paradise, and also you'll be nice to her too. Inna ashab al yawma fi fakihun. The occupants of the garden will be busy. Hum wa azwajuhum fi dilalin ala al araiki muttakiun. They with their spouses in shade, lounging on couches. Wa daniyatan alayhim dilaluha. And the shade of paradise will come close over them. And the fruits will be there subject to their desire. And they have also climax, but without any disgusting fluids and without any annoying smells. وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٌ مُطَهَّرَةٌ Those wives in paradise, they don't menstruate. وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ And they are there forever. وَحُورٌ عِينٌ And the women of paradise who are called الحور العين they will be wives for the men of paradise. 
wives who only have eyes for their husbands. Inna ansha'na hunna insha'a And those hurul in al hurul in Allah created them without them being born and they are so pure you can see their bones through them they are people of paradise not humans and they are not genies and no human before them or genie has ever touched them they are very very beautiful the black of their eyes is very black and the white of their eyes is very white and it's very beautiful how their eyes are very wide as beautiful as concealed pearls with veiled faces in tents and he made them virgins beloved to their husbands and similar in age and whenever the man is finished being with his wife, then Allah will restore her virginity. And in paradise, there are homes made of pearl. One gigantic pearl, hollowed out, 60 miles high, 60 miles wide. The castles and the palaces of paradise are made from golden and silver blocks or bricks a golden brick and a silver brick a golden brick and a silver brick some people in paradise they have very high chambers and also there are palaces in paradise you can see the inside from the outside and they talk to each other in paradise and they gather in paradise they meet with each other they visit each other and going between them are servants of theirs who are those servants perpetual youths immortal youths they are people of paradise who are young boys who never grow up and some scholars said those are the children of the kuffar those who were kafirs in this life but they died before puberty but what we learn from our sheikh is that they are not human and if you were to see them you would take them for scattered pearls. <laughs> Serving cups and pitchers. You know, it's a pitcher like the big container with the drink in it. And goblets. A goblet is a cup without handles. The goblets are silver as pure as glass. Glass made from silver. Goblets of wine that flows from springs. They do not get headaches from it and it never runs out. And fruits of all sorts that they choose from. And those fruits that they eat some of those fruits are familiar to them. Everything 
whenever they are provided with the fruits therein, they say, this is what we recognize from the dunya. But it's not the same exactly, it's just paradise's version of that fruit. And the pleasure in it being recognizable is that the human being enjoys what is recognizable. And as soon as they pluck it, a new one grows in its place. And the flesh of birds that they desire, it will be flying when he sees it. If he desires to eat it, it will fall for him. By the time it reaches him, it's cooked and ready to be eaten. Then he eats it, and then when he's done, it will regenerate and fly away. They do not hear in paradise anything trivial, any fruitless talk, any absurdities. What they hear is salam, salam. وَأَقُبَلَ بَعْضُهُمْ عَلَى بَعْضٍ يَتَسَاءَلُونَ And they approach each other, asking each other, قَالُوا إِنَّا كُنَّا قَبْلُ فِي أَهْلِنَا مُشْفِقِينَ They say, surely in the previous life, we were compassionate to our families. فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا And so Allah endowed upon us. وَوَقَانَا عَذَابَ الثَّمُومِ And He saved us from the torture of the scorching wind. إِنَّا كُنَّا مِن قَبْلُ نَدِعُوهُ Surely, in the worldly life, we used to call upon Allah. We used to make dua. And we used to pray to him and ask him, Surely, Allah is the one who is good to his slaves, and he is the one who is merciful to the believers. And the people of paradise, they love each other, they have no problems with each other. A man in paradise, he would have more than one wife, but none of his wives would hate that or be bothered with that in any way. It doesn't bother them. And they don't dislike each other. They don't have any bad thoughts. They don't have any inclination to sin. Allah takes out of their hearts what animosity they had in the earthly life. They talk to each other while they recline on their luxurious furniture that flies them where they want to go. They approach each other, asking each other. One of them says, in the dunya, in the earthly life, I used to have a friend. He was a kafir. He used to say to me, you're a Muslim. He used to say, is it that after we die and then we turn into soil and bones, we will come back to life and be judged? So that Muslim in paradise who's talking to the other Muslims, he says to them, Look! look, look. 
il jahim and he looks and he sees that kafir who was his friend in the midst of hell qalat allahi in kitta la turdin and he says to him you almost ruined me walaula ni'matu rabbi la kuntu min al-muhdarin and had it not been for the endowment of my lord i would have been among those who are present in hell afama nahnu bimayyitin now look at us here in paradise shall we die here in paradise illa mawtatana al-ula wa ma nahnu bimu'adhabin we shall not die here in paradise we already died and we came back to life and now we're in paradise and we're not getting tortured inna hadha lahu al-fawzu al-azim surely this is the great victory and that kafir he feels horrible when he hears that from that muslim and the people in hell hear the people in paradise enjoying themselves wa nada ashabun nar ashab al jannah and the people of hell they call to the people of paradise an afidu alayna min al ma'i aw min ma razaqakum Allah they say pour upon us water or give us something that Allah has provided to you qalu inna Allah harramahuma ala al kafirin they say Allah has made both of those forbidden for the blasphemers. Al-lazina takhadu dinahum lahwan wa la'iban wa gharratuhum al-hayatu dunya Those who took their religion as a joke and they were enticed by the earthly life. فَالْيَوْمَ نَنْسَاهُمْ كَمَا نَثُوا لِقَاءَ يَوْمِهِمْ هَذَا And so today they shall be left in hell to be tortured forever and ever as if they are forgotten just like they forgot about preparing for this day of theirs the last muslims will come out of hell when they come out of hell they will be burnt devastated destroyed their bodies will be like black coal except the parts that used to touch the ground when they prostrate those parts will not be affected by the fire then when they come out all burnt and crispy their bodies will be submerged in the basin and then Allah Ta'ala will revitalize their bodies and their health will be restored their beauty will be granted to them and they will come out and they will be admitted into paradise the last believer who comes out of hell he will be burnt to a crisp dipped into the hallowed revitalized then placed at the entrance of paradise and when he looks in he sees that the believers are just enjoying themselves and he says oh allah it's full then he would be asked would you be satisfied with as much as the earthly life to yourself he would say yes he would be told you will have 10 times that much. the person with the lowest status in paradise the lowest muslim in paradise in rank his own property takes a thousand years to cross and that's the last muslim who gets out of hell 
and it was reported that this one, his name is Juhayna. <laughs> لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُ الْحُسْنَ وَزِيَادَةً For those who did good, for them is what? Al-Husna. That's paradise. Waziyada. And something else. Something extra. What is that extra? Because paradise is already the best. So what's more than that? What more can there be? Seeing God, seeing God without Him being in a place or a direction. And the believers will stay in paradise forever and ever. They say, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. The one who fulfilled his promise to us. And he gave us this land and allowed us to go throughout paradise wherever we wish. And so, oh, how good of a reward that is for those who practice their religion. And you'll see the angels circling around the arsh. And those angels are glorifying Allah, saying Subhanallah and Alhamdulillah. وَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ And the judgment between them has been finalized in justice. وَقِيلَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ and the believers are in paradise saying, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Muhammad is the last of the prophets and their leader. The most knowledgeable among them, the most beautiful, brave, courageous, and generous. He had the most signs among them and the most outstanding miracles. 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 Yeah.